Lilo, a six-year-old girl, lives on the island of Kauai with her older sister Nani. Their parents tragically passed away in a car accident during a rainy night, leaving Nani as Lilo's legal guardian. Despite the loss, Lilo's vibrant and quirky personality shines through, though it often sets her apart from other kids who don't quite understand her. She still considers them friends, even though they mistreat her and openly express dislike. Lilo finds an unlikely companion in Stitch, an alien experiment she initially mistakes for a dog, despite his more koala-like appearance. Lilo is also quite headstrong and tends to disobey rules. Emotionally sensitive due to her parents' early death, she often breaks down in tears when things go wrong, especially when it involves her loved ones like Nani or Stitch. Throughout the movie, she remains loyal and patient with Stitch, even when his antics cause trouble for Nani. However, when their home is destroyed and she faces the prospect of foster care while her family photo is ruined, she reaches her breaking point. Feeling betrayed, she pushes Stitch away, showing that even she has limits to her patience and forgiveness. She goes to hula school and has some interesting hobbies like taking photos of chubby tourists, chatting about creatures from scary movies and sci-fi flicks, and catching and rehabbing Jumba's wild genetic experiments. On top of all that, she's a huge fan of Elvis Presley. But here's the thing. Lilo's kinda clueless about how her quirks make her a bit of an outsider with the other kids. She's naive enough to think Myrtle and her crew, Elena, Teresa, and Yuki, are her pals, even though Myrtle can be pretty mean, and the other three aren't much better, even if they don't say so. Lilo's always brainstorming offbeat ways to win them over, despite Nani's reminders that they're not really her friends. She sticks up for them though, saying they're all she's got besides Stitch. On top of being mischievous, she thrives on being messy and having a blast, though her wild antics often leave a trail of chaos that doesn't sit well with those around her. Sometimes, she can be a bit selfish and careless, especially when there's an experiment she can exploit for her own gain, leading to major trouble and bringing out her worst side. There's a hint in the movie dropped by Nani that Lilo might have scared off a bunch of social workers before Cobra came along. Despite her flaws, she's incredibly adventurous, brave, and smart, always coming up with clever plans to catch those experiments. Even when facing dangerous situations that put her life at risk, she doesn't show fear. To Lilo, these experiments are like family, part of her ahana. She dedicates so much time to catching them that it sometimes gets in the way of her daily life. Occasionally though, she lets them slip away, leaving them open for Gantu to grab, something Nosy isn't shy about calling her out on in the final episode. Still, she's got a sweet side and genuinely believes in the good in everyone, which shines through in how she treats Gantu and those quirky experiments, especially Stitch. Take Shu for instance. His bad luck powers caused a ton of trouble, making it seem like he'd never find his place. Even when Pleakley thought they should ditch him, Lilo stood her ground because she knew Gantu would snatch him up. When Shu's luck flipped to good, Lilo didn't hesitate to apologize and patch things up, assuring him that she still cared about him just the same. Despite her kind-hearted nature, Lilo can sometimes show a bit of selfishness and contradiction. In the first movie, when she tried to rush Nani out the door to see a fallen star, Nani joked about gravity increasing, which Lilo found weird. In Fibber, Lilo talks about the importance of honesty but sometimes bends the truth to get what she wants, usually with good intentions but sometimes for her own benefit. In Tank, after winning tickets to the Elizabethan Fair, Lilo gets caught up with her human friends Elena, Teresa, and Yuki, neglecting Stitch and even calling him weird. In Heckler, she finds Heckler's insults amusing and agrees with him until he turns his attention to her, dismissing his comment that her nose looks like a potato. In Angel, Lilo claims to believe in love but doesn't trust Angel and prevents Stitch from hanging out with her out of jealousy. She later discovers Angel was working for Dr. Hamsterveel, but Angel chooses Stitch over Hamsterveel, proving Lilo wrong. Despite these flaws, Lilo learns from her mistakes and can admit when she's wrong about something. 